Ah! I wish I could unlock my creative potential for only less than $10 a month even. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. What was that? I'm the ghost of Skillshare. I'm somewhere in the room. Huh? What? I'm here to tell you about Skillshare. I know, I've done a couple ads on Skillshare before. But what about to the audience? You were speaking out loud about how to start your creative identity or whatever. I was struggling with unlocking my creative potential. Skillshare has a class by Andy Pizza called Find Your Style 5 x exercises to unlock your creative identity. Well, Skillshare ghosts, I've been getting into raising plants at home. There's a class called Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space. That's by Christopher Griffin. I know, I already did the class, dang it. Well then why are you asking me? I don't know! But Skillshare ghost, learning is hard, isn't it? Not with Skillshare. You watch the videos, it's got stuff you can interact with and stuff. It's an online learning community. It's not an online encyclopedia. Oh. Most classes are under 60 minutes or less. I've got time for that. Even if you're a beginner, a pro, or a dabbler, this class is for you. Uh, how can they join Skillshare? The first thousand people to use the link in the description get a free trial to Skillshare Premium. I guess I better join Skillshare now. I thought you were already a member. I am. This is just for the sake of the commercial. Ding! Can I use your bathroom? Yeah, it's over there. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Game Grumps. Hello. I nice guess, to see you. Hey, it's good to see you, man. Um, Thank I you. uh today I don't know if this is a Game Grumps versus or not, but this is a uh, this is a game, a party game for deeper conversations called Wild Honesty. Um, this is a game that's made by uh, our good friend Brian Handy, who was almost solely responsible for porting uh, Dream Daddy to mobile devices. Um, Bless that man. Yes, he is a very, very good boy. Um, very talented, very smart. Um, His beard is outstanding. He's got a fantastically groomed beard. I yeah. will say. Yeah. Um, he keeps it nice. But he made this game, uh, released it recently, updated, uh, created a spooky mode for Halloween, but we're past that now, so we'll just play the regular version. Um, and the whole point of this game is to spur on, uh, deep conversations, and since, um, you know, Dan and I are known for being very good friends and, uh, getting into it sometimes on, on Game Grumps, uh, I figured this would be a good, people would be interested in watching this, so. Let us know if this we are is entertaining for intimate you. Intimate friends. Yes, <laughs> that is an option. So you can, when you enter in, you can choose how good of friends you are in the group. So go ahead and join the game, Dan. Same same room okay. code. Wildhonesty.tv. Mm hmm. Uh, typing in code now. And Oops. my name. All right. Cool, Murph nut. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Hello, Aaron. You know, it, it's kind of funny. I think way back to um, uh, to when I first joined the show, and I think we had done a Wheel of Fortune kind of thing, and it asked us to put in our our names, and I said I put in Dan, and you were like, "No, dude, that's not what we do here." <laughs> and, and you, <laughs> And you had some kind of crazy name, and now it's completely switched, where it's Aaron and Murfnut. Wow. All right. Uh, all right, here we go, baby. A little Time for a little wild honesty. No, oh my god. The first player has been chosen. Is that you or me? That is me. Guess the sound, Dan. Here it is. Oh my god. Whoa. Uh, is that a coyote? Braying? No, it's me on a Saturday night when I had too much Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the screams of the damned. Yes, it is a coyote, in fact. It is a coyote, yeah. yeah. Wow. His eyes almost line I, I, up with the, uh, the O's. Yeah, I saw that. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Yeah, hearing, hearing coyotes howl at night around LA is very spooky and weird and yeah. cool. Especially when they fight each other. That's really strange. Mm -hmm. When they're like, blah, 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 and you're like, oh my god, what's <laughs> happening? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Um, if you if could you... play this game with more people, who would you invite, Dan? Oh, geez. I guess I'd invite Ross. Um, which oh. now seems ridiculous, because we easily could invite him. That's true. Yeah. You'd probably love to stream this. Because he, he, because he, all he wants to do is monetize our friendship. That's all he is. We, he, we are to him. <laughs> oh, sweet Ross. 
uh yeah i i guess you know what i i would i would invite the uh the entire um the entire uh group of the backstreet boys wow really yeah yeah so so i could get their full um blessing yeah you want to hear their calling. story yeah yeah and and how much they love that we refer to their reunion tour as a pandemic <laughs> No, no, or, Dan. Or the other way we around. We refer to the pandemic as the reunion tour. Yes, correct. It's way correct. different, man. All right. That is true. That is different. If I can invite more people, I would probably invite my brother. I feel like he'd be fun at this. Yep. Um, I would. I would learn a lot more about him. There's, there is, there is a bit in our family we don't actually talk a whole lot about, like feelings and stuff. So it would be interesting to to hear that sort of perspective. From, is that right? Yeah, man. I mean. You know, I, I I mean, have you known me to be, well, I guess I've developed more emotionally over time, but like when we first met, did you know me to be in a, a like an emotionally mature person? Well, I mean, it's, it's, we've both grown a lot since we first met. It's been 10 years. That's true. That is very that's true. A, that's a long, that's a long time. A lot of development, a lot of character development, dude. <laughs> a lot of plot development. Good yeah. arcs. Yeah, we were arcing. We, we arced all the way. <laughs> That was that was like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow kind of arc. <laughs> I'm the next player. Uh, time for you to have a deep question. Uh -huh. What's this sound? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> if you said cow, you got it. <laughs> that's me. That's me laughing my head off at airplane. <laughs> <laughs> it's and a horse. Don't call of me Shirley. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, well geez. done. Proud of you. Let's see a horse. Look at that beautiful majestically. creature. Yeah, they are beautiful. They're fucking huge. Yeah, they're... I don't know if you've ever yeah. been around horses. I've, I've, I've been around horses. I think they're fabulous. Um, We move on. <laughs> All they do is fucking munch, man. They love to munch. And according to that video, they snore and fart a lot, too. <laughs> Forgot about you know what I'm talking video. about, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Horses peacefully snoring and farting. Yep. Or that's a real YouTube video that uh <laughs> if you ever need to calm down, if you feel yourself having a panicky moment, may I recommend horses peacefully <laughs> farting and snoring. <laughs> All right. What do you hope to do, see, or have in five years? Oh man. Good question. I don't know. I How about you? You go first. Um and yeah, what do I hope to do see? Well, I want to see New Zealand for sure. I haven't been there yet. Yep. Um I would like to Amazing see, place. I would like to see more of Europe, like Germany or something. Um to do um hmm I'd like to write some music. That would be fun. That would be nice. Yeah. It's something I feel like I always sort of put off and, and like every time I listen to like music that really affects me, I'm like, oh, this is, this affects me more than any other art that I do. And yet like I don't pursue it at all just because I have so much other shit going on. Um, yeah. And have in five years, this is going to sound stupid, but um, a very impressive Pokemon card collection. <laughs> <laughs> it's not stupid at all. <laughs> I mean, I've been that that's what I call wild honesty. There you go. Well, also a Magic the Gathering collection. I would love to have some like beta or alpha cards from Magic the Gathering. That would be dope. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Not quite there yet, um, but we'll get there. Yeah, it takes time. Um, I, I'm, I'm similar along those lines. I'd love to see parts of the world that I've never seen. I'd love to go to Hong Kong. Um, oh, really? Uh, yeah, Hong Kong would yeah. be fun. I want to see, I want I want to complete my uh my quest of taking a picture with every stegosaurus skeleton yes, in the world. Yes. And I want to be a part of that. I want to I mean yeah, not please. the whole not the whole way or anything but like if you're going places where I'm like, "Oh, I want to go. I would love to go." Th there's one in Tokyo. Hell yeah, dude. Y yeah, man. Um that's that's on the list. There's uh I there there's one I mean it's a cast. It's not a real one, but there's one in a uh in a mall in Hong Kong. What? Strangely enough. Yeah. Oh gosh, I wish I could remember the name of the mall. Just hanging out. Yeah, just just 
peacefully chilling in the middle, like between clothing stores. Yeah, <laughs> it's just had to get some jeans that day, I guess. It's a cool mall. I think it's called the Toho Mall. Is that possible? I have no or is, idea. Or is Toho the Godzilla uh, movie studio? I mean, Dang. it is, but it could also be the name of a mall. I don't know. It's not like you. It's like they got carte blanche on the word Toho. <laughs> no, I get, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe it's called the Yoho Mall. Like a pirate's life for I, me? I think that's right. I think that's what it is. It's Y-O-H-O. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna have to look that up later. But yeah, that that's that's what I hope to do. Hope to finish that quest and and just keep making albums with NSP, um, and and other music projects. Uh, pretty pretty lucky, pretty pretty lucky to. We're we're very fortunate, and this is all thanks to you, lovely fans, um, for allowing us to have, uh, these, cool, fun careers. You know, it's uh, yeah. It's 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 really nice to just have the answer be like I'd like to do this for five more years, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, just kind of chill, just do my thing. I would like to have really read a fun. lot more books. I'll say that I haven't been reading a whole lot lately. Um, I've been trying to get back into it by abandoning I've been reading my a phone. shit ton. Speaking yeah, of yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, that's what I'm reading right now. Treasure Island. What? Did they find it yet? It's uh the treasure. Not not yet. <laughs> um. Uh, they, they, I, I, I was under the impression that Long John Silver was just a, a fish restaurant, <laughs> but now I know he's a very important, famous character in a book. Wow. Anyway, yeah, so. <laughs> Is it because he wore Long Johns? Uh... Correct. <laughs> Correct. Well, o only, yeah, he only has one leg, but. Oh. So, he wore Long John. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. What's the, okay. What's sorry. The next please. Thing? Go ahead. Uh, oh. Oh. It's on me to go yeah. to the next. You got the button, baby. It, okay. work, it works oh, like Jackbox, on. where it's on our phones. Yes. So. Uh, I, I might have to pause for one second because poor Camilla is crying for some reason. Oh yeah, sure. Let me see what, sweetie. What is it? <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, just had a little dog thing to deal with. She's fine. Um, all right, let me come back to, uh, next screen. She was like a tree trunk, full of bark. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Aaron. Thanks, Well man. played. Ooh, oh. guess that sound. All right, guess it. Are you ready for this? Yes, I can't wait. Wait. What, what, I, what is that? I just hear the whooshy whoosh. Imagine you're in a jungle and you hear this in distance, a sound unlike any other. Uh, is it so? It, it sounds like when someone swings a sword and misses to me. <laughs> you freaking, you fool, it's a lion. That's a lion? I ain't lying. I, when I hear, when I think lion sound, I hear, I hear like the MGM lion. Like oh, a, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, how do you I, how do you really feel right now about life if you're being totally honest? Damn. Yeah, holy shit. Uh, for me, uh, it, it's it's good, but um, 2020 has definitely been a, a kick to the nuts. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Freaking. I will say. I will say this. It has been a time of extreme self discovery. Um. Yep. I have been horribly depressed. Uh, have you really? Yeah, I mean, you know, on and off. There, there was sort of a moment I had. So Susie and I, we have... Um, we started doing this thing with fridge magnets. So there's this service that makes these little square fridge magnets um, of like pictures that you can submit. And so we, mm -hmm. have a, we have a bunch of them now and we just kind of make little fridge magnets of all our favorite memories. And um and you know one one night we were just like kind of looking at him together and reminiscing and i just sort of noticed you know seven months into the backstreet boys reunion tour um it was just kind of like going on the list i was like travel 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 going out and to dinner with friends travel some kind of production yes. where there were a lot of people involved travel like it was just kind of like oh no wonder we're not like making new memories and like enjoying stuff as much like our 
greatest memories are things that we just can't do right now. Um, so that, yeah, so it's, that sort of realization was actually kind of um, comforting in a way. Because I think it's so easy when this kind of stuff is happening to just be like, well, this is life and I guess it just sucks. Um, but to realize like, no, this is way different than what it used to be, you know, um, and it's going to be fine soon was was kind of comforting to 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 know. Um, yeah, for sure. The re reading has been a saving grace for me, um, just in that it. it I got to go on all these mental adventures, you know, mm. cause the physical, uh, life adventures couldn't be done. Um, but I mean, it's, I like hanging out at home, you know, I, I, I enjoy, um, I enjoy the, the, the peace and the quiet and the company here, but it, it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of my kitchen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would like to mix in some new uh, landscapes. Yeah, some new locale. Um, yeah, yeah. I, but, I will uh, say, though, I have been... Um, I don't know. I think as far as... Oh, Aaron, you dropped out. Aaron, my sweet bear. Where are you, babe? Come back to me. I'm back to you. And, um, all right, there you are. Uh, yeah, no, all I was saying was... Um, I, I, I do feel like uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel at this point, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of like focused on that rather than, um, uh, slipping into despair. Cause honestly, like you, you can make a hell out of paradise, um, in, in your head if, if, if you're not in a good headspace, you know? So, um, a, as much as the external, uh, things in your life, make a huge difference and have an impact on you a lot of it um can be up to you in a way uh as far as dealing with your own internal stuff yeah um i mean the, the so i've go ahead yeah i was just gonna say i've tried my best to 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 do that you know mm -hmm. i i mean it's not certainly not like anybody wants to slip into despair i think it just is some pernicious force that is tough to be reckoned with um, and also, uh, you know, as much as I've tried to have like a Zen mindset about this, it's like, oh, it's a moment in time, it'll pass. And like, it's not, you know, want for nothing, appreciate everything. Like it's, it's tough, man. Like, you know, 30, 33 years of my life have been a different way. And then for it to suddenly shift is like, woof, that's strange. Um, but the thing that has been, I think the the catalyst for me and it being really bad was my phone. And uh, oh yeah, this this past week, I've just made an effort to be like, I'm just not going to use it, um, and just tech, check for texts every so often. Um, and then if I need to do stuff on the computer, like email or whatever, I do it on an actual computer. Um, because there's something about like the keyboard being like a like a barrier between you and the screen. Um. And it doesn't make it like an extension of your limb like the phone is. Uh, right. And that has been like, wow, what a tremendous difference. Um, just in, in like being able to focus because I have I have ADD. And so like it's tough for me to focus, especially when there's something that's constantly like demanding my attention um, away from the things that I'm doing. So I've been like much more present. And I ha I've I started reading again um, because I can focus on it. Uh when I when I'm just like oh I'm, I don't have my phone nearby I'm not using it that's been a huge difference yeah yeah I don't did we talk about the social dilemma on on a grumps episode yet I think we might have we might have god what an eye-opening movie that was uh for anyone who hasn't seen it I would strongly recommend it um it, it's a movie about um it's a documentary uh where a lot of the people who were instrumental in these different social media platforms uh, coming into existence now are kind of doing a 180 and saying, oops, what have we done? <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and it interviews them ab about that and, and the, the, the terrible effects um, social media and, and excessive phone use 
um, is having, especially on this newest generation of, of young people. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm generation X, like I'm, I'm, I'm two generations away from that now. So, and I feel it when I look at, uh, social media. So I've been sort of like taking steps away from that, uh, ever since I saw that movie and yeah, sure enough. Uh, direct correlation between that and direct feeling good during the day. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, what a difference. Um, great. That was, that was a good answer to that question. We got deep. We got wildly honest. Oh, snaps. All right. It's your turn. Okay. Hold on one sec. Sorry. There is a squirrel outside my window and it is driving my dog insane. <laughs> Yeah, I could hear all the... I could hear all the tree trunks, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, man. Did, did, was it, was that annoying? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's no big deal. It's fucking... Okay. Every day you hear a dog bark. It's just how it is. Am I guessing the sound? You are! Here we go! What? I'm sorry, was what? that a, a laser from Star Wars? <laughs> there was an enormous jump in difficulty of these sounds. <laughs> wait, wait, play that again. <laughs> it sounds like if, if, if Star Wars had like a, like a quick shooting revolver character, and he was like, <laughs> with his laser gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is a lyre bird. Um, oh. Here comes a picture. Lyre birds are are awesome. Oh, are they the ones that can mimic any sound? Yeah, like if they hear like a chainsaw in the distance, they'll just like yeah. sound like a chainsaw. The, 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 yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing. There was, there was one... Um, I know, that they're they're beautiful. There was one uh, on one of those da David Attenborough specials that could mimic the sound of a camera shutter. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, yeah, nuts. Just, okay. Uh, lost family friends in the past. Let's, Are you all okay with it. that? I'm okay with it, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's too late now. What is your first memory of death? Oh. Heavy shit, man. I don't even know. Um. My first memory of death. I had a great grandma named Mornan, and, uh, she passed. And I didn't really know her that well. I mean, I was very young. But I remember everyone around me was really upset, and I remember the funeral really well. And whenever I think of, like, a, a, if I, like, read, you know, in a book, like, they were at a funeral, I, I think of this one. Because it was just my first experience with a funeral. It was a very small room, um, and, like, there was a picture of her. And I remember she, um, there was one, like, Christmas where we were all together at, like, the big dining room table, and, uh that they had just released like the like nerf head balls or whatever like you would wear like this velcro cap and then you would like throw balls at oh yeah at the head and they would stick to your head um and wow. we put we put one of those on mornan <laughs> and then we took a picture of her and it was very funny because she's she's a very old woman and she had these all these coot like nerf balls stuck to her head and that was like one of the pictures they had on display at the funeral and i remember being like oh that's nice and, uh, but yeah, I was, I, I didn't, I didn't really have a huge relationship with her. So I was just kind of like, man, it's a bummer, I guess. Um, so that was my first memory. Yeah. Pretty similar. My, my great grandma Tilly died when I was 10, I guess, something like that. Um, and yeah, I remember going to the funeral and it was an open casket and I was really freaked out by that. Oh, wow. Um, because you know, it, it, uh, it, it just, it it was her, but it wasn't her, right, you know. Yeah. And I, 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 as a kid, I didn't know how to process that. And I remember what I, I, I remember not being too disturbed by anything else other than the coffin, like going down into the earth. I remember being very upset by that. Oh, you were actually there? Um, for that. I've never been to one of those. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they 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 just uh, they lowered it down and. I just remember thinking, like, where's Grandma Tilly going? Like, how am I going to see her again? And, um, 
you know, it, that, that, that was, that was very tough to deal with. I loved her. Wow. Um, but yeah, it, it's, I don't know. It, it's, it, it still took me another pff, seven or seven years or so to realize that I was going to die someday. You know, Th there was some disconnect mm. in, uh, between, uh, between seeing that and actually thinking, oh, this is, this was just her turn, but it, it, it everyone, uh, this is a part of everyone's life eventually. Mm. Wow. Um, but yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's weird. And it sounds like a negative experience. It wasn't completely, but, uh, it was, it was very sad. Yeah, it's just part of the human experience, right? Like everybody sort of yeah. has to deal with that at some point. I had um no question. You mentioned open casket. I had a you know my my grandma, my mom died, uh, mom's side died, and she had an open casket. And I you know I had a friend that passed who also had an open casket. And I went to that funeral first, and you know I I, I walked up and saw and I was like, that's not him. Like it was just. It was strange, and now that image in my mind is like right up there with like my memories of him as a friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. when I went to my grandma's funeral and I had a little casket, everyone was going up, and I was like, "Do you want to go up?" And I was like, "No, I don't. I don't want that memory. Like, I, I want to remember her as she was." Um, and to this day, I'm extremely glad that I made that decision. Um, I just didn't, you know, I, I don't have that image in my mind at all of her laying there. She's just alive in my mind. Um, yeah, yeah. There, there's that, there's that quote, uh, um, from Neil Peart who, who died earlier this year and I was very affected by, but he said, uh, here's a provocative quote for you. Death is for the survivors. And, uh, it's like, holy shit, what a quote. Cause I mean, he dealt with. The loss of his daughter and his wife mm -hmm. um so he he knew better than most um and uh and and it's really true you know because the person who's dead they're just they're just on to whatever adventure or nothingness there is you yeah. know um they're just on to the next thing uh it, it really is the, the the reckoning of it is really for the people that are are left behind as mm -hmm. they say um, but yeah, I, I, I know how you feel, man. Boy, this got, this did get heavy. <laughs> hey, hey um, good, good answer. Good answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. Like I've, I've, I've had friends die too. And, and it is, uh, the fucking worst. It, it's, th that's another quote I heard once. The death of an old man is not a tragedy, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and that is true. But, um, it, it, at least as far as I feel, um, but yeah, when, when it's someone your age, you know, mm -hmm. and especially when it's someone, um, a friend of mine died maybe 10 years ago and, uh, it felt horrible at the time. And as the years have gone on, it, it's, I mean, in some ways it's, it's gotten easier with time and in other ways it's like, uh, even worse in some ways because in those 10 years so much life has happened and it's like oh man look at what she missed out on you know mm -hmm. and it, it just it become it becomes more tragic in a way wow woof <laughs> all right next, next question. one's gonna be like here's what a horse sounds like <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's why you know we were kind of wondering why the sound effect thing but maybe it is a palate cleanser yeah yeah that might be it Okay. Oh, is that me that I have to hit? Yes, sir. Sorry, my I have my phone set to go black after um after like thirty seconds of non use. Mm -hmm. So I always miss the next screen button. Next player's turn to share something new with us. What do we got? Oh it's guess the sound. What's this sound? Okay. <laughs> One more time? 
Is that a, uh, uh, a warthog or some kind of truffle pig? Let's hear it again, Dan. I... I... I have no earthly idea. It's a hippo, of course! Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. Look at his little fucking poopy tail. <laughs> have you seen the one... Have you... <laughs> have you seen that famous video? Where it's a bunch of people at a zoo? And the hippo is just... Shooting diarrhea <laughs> yeah, and like spinning its tail yes. to like fan it and the children are screaming <laughs> It's called muck spraying <laughs> Dan. It's a real thing. Muck spray. Yeah. yeah, 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 they they do it for Territorial purposes, yes, right? Yes, I believe so Yeah, oh god <laughs> right. Just the 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 terrified screams of the children are super hilarious. Oh man, we already just did a question about love friends past and loss All right, that's I mean like Fucking covers a lot of ground. Yeah, seriously. Um, have you ever lost a friend? Oh, God! <laughs> that, that's what we just, yeah, we just talked, talked about. talked about it. Um, yeah, I I can't talk about it again. Okay, all right. Then that's fine. Yeah, I don't want to go into details about how she died or anything. All right, it's the next player's turn to share some... You know, that's okay, because the game gives you the option to, to skip. So that's very... It's very nice. You know? That is cool. Uh, your turn. Let's do it. Uh, uh, fuck the, 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 son of a, the right. screen button. Um, okay, here we go. If I tap the screen. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> um, one more time. I, I, yup. <laughs> uh,. God, I feel like I've heard that before. Um, is it like a- is it like a- like an old-timey camera shutter? That- that would have been my guess, like a Polaroid camera, but no, it's a robot. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I- I guess I kind of... Is it actually that, though? I don't know. <laughs> like a Roomba? <laughs> like, yeah, okay, it's a robot. What is your favorite- favorite oh, memory this is of the nice. other player? It's a nice little ender, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, gee whiz. Uh, do you want to go first or shall I? I'm not sure I know what my favorite is. I mean, I know- Yeah, there's so many. I have like ones that really stick out to me just for my own stupid selfish reasons. Um. Uh-huh. Like, for example, I- I, I think of like- we were recording Starbomb, and I did a, a, like, I nailed particularly a verse, and you were like, Whoa, dude, you're a really good rapper. And I was like, oh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, <laughs> yeah. it's like, that's that stuff, like these little, those little moments, those are the things that I re remember. The, I've never been, I've never been good about, like, sort of like, when we were 28, I looked upon the sky like I've never been that kind of person. Right, right. Um No, actually, you know, I do So you've told you've said this on the show, so I don't I don't feel like I'm speaking out of turn here. Um or sharing something of yours. It's just a it's a I was at your house, you know, we were we, we were we were like year two or three of Game Grumps or something and you know you were talking about um you know like how how Game Grumps has affected you and everything and um you know you, you got a little misty eyed and you were like dude like I can't thank you enough for for what you've given me because like the other day like I you know I was I was telling my my dad as in your dad um like what we've achieved with Game Grumps and like how far we've come and how far you've come as a person and and then he told you he was proud of you and and that was and you were you were thanking me for like giving that to you. So that was yeah. that was a huge yeah. I was like, oh my god, I've like changed someone's life. I can't believe that. Um Yeah, there's there's no question about that. Cause because um, up to that point, I mean, you know, as like an independent creator, like my life had been, you know, relatively selfish. It was it was just like I I make something, I put it out there, and then I either get paid or not. 
um but to do something that's like the work that i've done not only did that but also like affected someone's life directly in a very positive way was that was like oh i like this <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah it's nice yeah. that i can do it's that a, it's a good feeling for sure um yeah it there there's a lot I, I can't remember what show it was but i remember one of the game grumps live shows um we we were doing it and, and the the crowd was having a lot of fun and they were cheering and i we just like caught eyes for a second it must have been early on in in, in the process but we just both had this look of like, yee, this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, just a, that, that, that was a really nice memory. I wish I could remember specifically what show it was. Um, I mean, th there's, there's one I can remember when, um, early on, I think we'd maybe known each other a year. Um, and I was talking about possibly doing a Kickstarter to keep, NSP afloat mm -hmm. um and uh and I told you the number we needed to keep being able to make music videos and you were like I can, I can just give you that <laughs> and, and uh it, it wasn't said in like any kind of I have money and you don't like it was nothing like that it was just pure generosity and genuine like that's okay I can help you um, because you were at a, you, your life reached a, an, I can pay my bills point before mine did, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and, uh, and that stuck with me. I was like, holy shit, this guy is, this is a good guy. Um, and, and, uh, I don't know. I, I guess that a lot of the other memories really, it's, it's, if I had to say a favorite memory, it would be this collage of all the times we've gone into insane laughing fits on the show, you yeah. know? Oh, those um, are, yeah, those are so they, good. There are so many. There are so many. I mean, Nancy Drew, uh, <laughs> I Fired and I Missed always comes to mind. Like, the Obama, uh, Kirby's Dream Course stuff. Um, the, the fishing for Froggy. Like, there, there are so many moments where i've just thought you know i don't know what life is any more than any other creature living on earth but i do know that we're on a blue rock floating in space and i'm on a couch with this guy and we're fucking laughing mm -hmm. you know it's it, life is really fun right now um uh, aboard the the good ship grumps you know <laughs> And, uh, I don't know. That's, that's a cool feeling. It's, it's like the feeling I used to get when I had like sleepovers as a kid, yeah. you know, and we'd all be giggling uncontrollably mm -hmm. about stuff. That's so true. And I, there's, um, there's something very yeah. unique about the fact that this is sort of like chronicled too, because there's a lot of stuff that I don't remember. Cause it's like, it's just so in the moment. It's so, you know we're we're just we're we're there and we're doing that one thing and then it's over and then i fucking pass out at the end of the night um but like going back and watching an episode where like i don't even remember us making those jokes and laughing that hard um and like being reminded that like that was an experience i had it's it's there's something very unique about that i imagine it's like looking at an old photo album or something like it's the, that's that's always a really nice feeling where it's like wow we've been doing this for a long time and we always have fun you know like yeah the, the, i mean these grumps episodes are uh, much, much like the nsp videos they're 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 living photographs of of our lives at the yeah. time because i think it's because um, when we're in it it's cool it, you know it's it's really fun um but there's always the element of like well this is our job you know what i mean um so to do it in that moment sort of has a little bit of that no matter what um but being able to like look back on it and like watch episodes where it's like i don't have to think about that anymore it's just out there and it's done and here it is i think that's yeah that's sort of like oh i can really 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 just take this in fully that like we were in that moment we were laughing and that's fun and that's those that's always really nice watching watching old episodes is always really nice too 
Yeah, yeah. I, I remember those early days of of Grumps where I was essentially living at your place, you know, sleeping on your couch um, and the guest room and stuff. And we would just, you'd wake me up at like three in the morning and be like, all right, let's do some episodes, you know? And so we were all loopy and it was, it was just fun. It was, it was very wild westy kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's still super fun now. It's just a very different kind of fun, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and yet also exactly the same kind of fun. Uh, it's hard to explain. Um, but I mean, that's just how life is. Things change. You know, if, if you tried to recreate the circumstances, uh, of, of seven years ago, it would, it would come across forced or weird. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You just gotta be, you gotta be wildly honest <laughs> with, uh, with where you are right now, wow. you know? And, and with that, I guess is, uh, that was the last question. Yeah. Went through a whole round. That was cool. Way to go, Brian. Yeah, that was fun. This is a good little... Congrats on your game. I can, I can imagine that. Um, getting some parties really, you know, get a couple drinks in you, a couple good friends. Um, really, really learning a lot about each other. That's neat. Yeah. For sure, man. All right, well, uh, yeah, hope that was interesting and fun uh, for everyone. It's kind of a kind of a chill hangout session. Yeah. And yeah, um, back to uh, Don Gone Ron Pies. <laughs> awesome. All right, thanks for. I gotta know. I, I gotta know. I, know. I I gotta know too, man. There's there's a lot of mystery, a lot of intrigue. It's killing me not to know what's going on. Um. Until next time, we love you all. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Excuse me. <laughs> do you remember pooping back and forth forever? I do. It was really great.